So I'm going to show you guys how to do a rotation. And when you're rotating something, sorry, I forgot this okay. word. So when you're rotating something, remember that's when you like, so like if we were rotating this shape right here, you turn it like that, right? That's what rotating means. Okay. So this one problem tells us that we're going to rotate 180 degrees. Okay, so we're going to take this guy and we're going to rotate him around on that axis 180 degrees. 180 degrees, remember, is a straight line like that. So it's kind of like if it were over here on this side, we would rotate it around to make a straight line. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. So we're going to use this stuff. It's called patty paper and it's like the see-through deli paper stuff and it's going to help us make our rotation. So see how you can see through it? I'm going to take it and I'm going to make, oh let me grab a ruler because that will be easier to make, that. to make myself a copy. So I'm going to take my ruler make a copy of my triangle on my patty paper. Like this. Okay, so see how I made a copy of it? So now I'm going to use this copy to rotate it around to see where my new points should be. So it's really important when I make my copy and make sure that I put my points on my copy. So like how this is point J, on my copy, I'm going to write point J, and Q, and then H. So see how I have an exact copy of what I just had on the paper? Exactly. So then it says rotate it around point Q. So what that means is it's going to like hold steady at Q, and it's going to rotate around like that. Okay? Oh, I know. It's like... Um, Reflection. Sort of, except it's gonna, it's kind of like a, it is, it's a transformation and a reflection is a transformation. But a reflection would be like picking it up and flipping it over like that. A rotation is just gonna be, a rotation is just gonna be rotating it around. So what we, we're gonna do is we're gonna take our copy, we're gonna hold it steady here at Q, okay? Then we're going to rotate our copy around. And we know that we're done. Guys, look, we know that we've rotated it. See where this is my original line and then there's my copy of my line? Uh -huh. Okay, so my original and my copy, I'm, gonna, I'm done rotating it once they make a straight line, which is a 90 or 180 degree angle. So look, see how, oh wait, now it's a little bit off. Let's see, right there. So see how I rotated it around and see how my HQ right here on my original makes a 180 degree line with my mm -hmm. HQ right there. So it literally just rotated around 180 degrees. So this is the hard part for me anyway. Because now that I've rotated it around, now I've got to like kind of lift up the paper and kind of put the dots in the spot where they should be. So like I need to look and see. Alright, so J was right there. H is right there. So then I'm going to connect my dots to make my new triangle. Now here's the other thing that you need to do. So see I have a perfect copy and whenever you rotate, actually whenever you do any transformation, see how this, this looks exactly like that? So of course now we know that's pencil so we know that that's the one we tra that we did the transformation for. But let's say they were both in print. The way that you tell the difference between the original, which is called the pre-image, by the way, pre-image. So the way you tell the difference between the original and the new one is that you put a little tick mark next to the points on the new one, and that tells anybody that looks at it, this was the original point and that was the new one. And I can actually just test it and see. So my original HQ right here does form a 180 degree angle, that means a straight angle, with my new HQ. And same thing, my QJ forms a perfectly straight line with my other one. There you go, so I rotate around like that. No, on the bottom. Oh, are you talking about, what do you mean on the bottom? Draw what? Okay, so now, so that's how you rotate it around a point that's on the shape. Now number two is a little bit different. 
See, number two says, first of all, it's giving us direction that we need to do it in. So counterclockwise. So hopefully we know this is the direction a clock goes in, right? That's clockwise. So this is counterclockwise. So that means we're going to take it and we're going to rotate it that way. Now in the last example, we rotated it around a point that was actually on the shape. This time it says we're going to rotate it around the origin. So what I mean by that, here's the origin right here. That's the middle of the axis. I'm going to draw a straight line from the origin just to any point on my triangle. And what's going to happen is it's kind of like this is what's going to hold steady now. And it's kind of like it's swinging like we it's swinging around the origin. Okay, that's what we mean by it's rotating around. So I'm going to do the same thing I just did a second ago. I'm going to make a copy of it. Hmm? I'm tired too. It's almost time to go home. Oh. Well, I do. My boyfriend made me a very nice dinner that I'm getting ready to go eat. Which are eating? Stuffed pork chops. Oh, yeah, and vegetables. That's so good. I know. I'm very excited. He's a really great cook. Okay, so see you guys how I made a little copy, just like so. An oh, S right there. And how my copy, hey, let's look, how my copy also includes the line that I drew from the origin to my shape. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So that means basically it's going to rotate around that way to make a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to take my copy and I am going to rotate around 90 degrees. So see how my original line right there and my new line make a 90 degree angle? Do you see that? My original, so I took it Let's try to look at that again. So I took it and I rotated it around counterclockwise and I rotated it until, see how the original line that I drew and my new line form a 90 degree angle right there? That's how I know I rotated it the right amount. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I know I need to put point there. Look and make sure I put it in the right spot. I know I need a point right here, so I'm going to kind of lift up the paper. It there. And then my new S is right here. Connect my dots. I didn't draw a very straight line that time. So, and then remember to put my little tick mark next to it. Okay, so there's my new L, and here's my new S. And I can double check and make sure that I did it right by drawing a line from S to S. And then look, a perfect. 90 degree angle and it's going around in that direction.